Holy Market is the world's largest prediction market, where users trade on real-world outcomes using crypto. From elections and economic crashes to celebrity health rumors, millions are wagered monthly. Backed by blockchain and scrutinized by regulators, this platform isn't just making predictions, it's quietly rewriting how we watch the future unfold. Welcome to the world of Polymarket, a blockchain-powered prediction market where everyday users wager on real-world events, from presidential nominees to alien sightings. It's fast, it's decentralized, and it's raising some serious eyebrows in Washington. With millions in bets placed monthly and headlines being written before reality unfolds, this platform isn't just disrupting media, it's challenging how we define truth. Behind the code is a young founder, powerful backers, and a trail of controversy that could shake the future of finance, politics, and free speech. So how did a scrappy crypto startup become the world's most controversial crystal ball? Stay with us as we dive in. Bali Market began as a bold experiment in youthful ambition. Shane Coplin, a restless 21-year-old NYU dropout, believed markets could forecast reality better than polls or pundits. From his bathroom office in Manhattan, he started building a platform that would connect real-world betting with blockchain technology. In 2020, Coplin launched Polymarket on Polygon, a fast and affordable Layer 2 Ethereum network, using USDC stablecoin for transactions. The idea was simple. Create a question, issue yes slash no share, and let traders set odds. Using UMA's optimistic oracle, Poly Market could resolve outcomes transparently, no central authority needed. By mid-2022, the platform was handling over $1 billion in monthly volume, marking its dominance in crypto prediction markets. Whole plan quickly attracted attention from major backers. In May 2024, Vitalik Buterin and Peter Thiel's Founders Fund led a $70 million investment round. Time even named Polymarket one of the most influential companies of 2025. His vision, real-time, crowdsourced truth, was now a global force. But as poly markets reach grew, so did attention from regulators. Poly market works like a stock market for the future. Powered by crypto, users trade shares on binary outcomes, e.g., Will Candidate X win? Share prices range from $0 to $1, directly reflecting public sentiment. If you're right, you earn a full dollar per share. If not, you lose it behind the scenes. Trades run on Polygon, ensuring speed and low fees. Smart contracts handle everything. Market creation, pricing, and final resolution. Polymarket blends off-chain order books for speed with on-chain settlement for trust. Liquidity is maintained through auto automated market makers and incentive programs that reward active users. Anyone outside the U.S. can participate, no KYC, just a crypto wallet. Real-time probabilities guide trading. Trump might sit at 60% in October. While the Miami Heat's championship odds hover at 18%, users can cash out early or ride the market to resolution, adding a layer of strategy to speculation. Poly market isn't just fast, it's exploding. By late 2024, just before the U.S. election, Poly Market processed over $3 billion, $300 million in bets in a single month. Markets covered everything from presidential outcomes to geopolitical conflicts. One French trader reportedly earned $85 million betting on Trump's victory. Venture capital poured in. With 1.2 million users, over 21,000 live markets, and $20 million in open positions daily, Poly Market hit unicorn status. A June 2025 partnership with Elon Musk's X brought real time odds into the mainstream, making Poly Market not just a platform but a cultural force. This wasn't just growth, it was turbocharged attention. Media covered every twist, highlighting the growing gap between Poly Market's real time odds and outdated polling. Dramatic payouts, celebrity mentions, and rising user numbers turned it into a viral juggernaut, but with visibility came a tidal wave. 
wave of scrutiny. In January 2022, the CFTC fined Polymarket $1,400,000 for operating as an unregistered derivatives exchange and ordered it to block U.S. users. Despite this, many Americans still access the site using VPNs, raising red flags among regulators. Then, in November 2024, came the bombshell. The FBI raided Shane Copeland's apartment at 6 a.m. seizing electronics. Authorities were investigating whether U.S. citizens illegally wagered on political outcomes and whether Polymarket had sidestepped anti-money laundering protocols. The company struck back, calling the raid political retribution, noting it had correctly forecast Trump's win while mainstream polls were still inconclusive. Crypto leaders rallied. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong warned of regulatory overreach. Elon Musk, by then a Polymarket partner, called the raid messed up. Supporters framed the platform as a global truth machine, a crowdsourced alternative to elite narratives. Still, Polymarket faced increasing restrictions. Countries like France, Singapore, Belgium, Poland, and Switzerland geo-blocked access, citing unregulated gambling or election influence concerns. The platform stood at a crossroads, radical transparency on one side, legal boundaries on the other. Yet Polymarket didn't fold. It pivoted, continuing to operate offshore, limiting U.S. access, and exploring compliant futures. Post-election, it still processed around $1 billion monthly with hundreds of thousands of active traders, but big questions loomed. Can it scale without crossing legal lines? Can forecasting remain free in a regulated world? And this wasn't just about a website. It was about who gets to control information in the 21st century. While Polymarket's reach extended beyond crypto, in late 2024, it consistently outperformed traditional polling in forecasting major events. When it predicted Biden's withdrawal before media outlets did, headlines declared prediction markets versus polls. That accuracy brought ethical concerns. If markets are this powerful, can they be manipulated? Could whales skew prices to sway public opinion or media narratives? Countries like France and Singapore didn't wait to find out. They banned access, fearing it undermined national discourse. But others, including Vitalit Buterin, praised prediction markets as transparent, decentralized forecasting tools offering real-time insight during global uncertainty. Still, the moral minefield remains. Should users be able to bet on death, war, political chaos, and who decides what's acceptable? As polymarket gains global traction, the real question becomes is this the future of truth or speculation gone too far? Behind Polymarket's tech wizardry are real people with hopes, fears, and big ideas. At the center stands Shane Copeland, a reserved 27-year-old whose bedroom coding sessions evolved into a global prediction powerhouse. Those early nights, debugging smart contracts and debating prediction theory, speak to a deep belief. Information matters and incentives shape truth. Then, there's the team of developers, analysts, and moderators who operate in the shadows, scanning for corrupt markets, problematic content, or regulatory red flags. One former staffer told NIMAG that internal debates on enabling free speech versus preventing manipulation kept them up at night. They're working not just with code, but with moral complexity. Equally compelling are the traders themselves. From weekend enthusiasts wagering $10 sports to to professionals placing multi-million dollar bets on geopolitical events. One account shared that hitting a shocking 20% swing on a major market felt like surfing a tsunami, both exhilarating and terrifying. It's emotional intensity you won't find in traditional finance. Humanity's urge to know, dare, share combined with the adrenaline of real money on predictions drives Polymarket's engine and feeds its controversies. Behind every click is a person reacting to global events, grappling with risk, excited by insight, and sometimes haunted by second-guessing. Ultimately, Polymarket isn't just code and markets. It's a reflection of human leaning towards certainty in uncertainty, community-driven speculation, and the struggle to responsibly harness collective knowledge.
Everything ramped up in November 2024 when the FBI executed a dramatic early morning raid on Shane Copeland's Manhattan apartment, seizing phones, computers, and documents. Authorities. Authorities were reportedly investigating whether U.S. citizens were illegally betting on political outcomes, and if Polymarket had evaded AML slash KYC rules, Polymarket pushed back. The platform called the raid political retribution, pointing out it had predicted Trump's victory hours before polls shifted. Within hours, the crypto world erupted. Coinbase's CEO warned the action could backfire, while Elon Musk, who had just struck a major partnership with Polymarket to integrate prediction markets on X, denounced the tactic as messed up. Around the world, regulators scrambled. France, Singapore, Belgium, Poland, Switzerland, and others imposed geoblocks over gambling or compliance concerns. A DOJ investigation also probed U.S. user activity, alleging the platform facilitated domestic bets on political events. The battle lines were drawn. Decentralized freedom versus traditional authority. Polymarket remained operational offshore with $1 billion plus monthly volume, but its future in the U.S. market hung in the balance. The platform gambled its vision of transparent, crowd-riven truth against regulators' concerns over legality and influence. The climax begs a question. Will innovation win, or will authority shut it down? Looking ahead, prediction markets like Polymarket could soon reshape forecasting entirely. Platforms like Kaoshi recently secured U.S. approval, bringing similar tools under federal regulation. The Economist calls this a dream scenario. Prediction markets integrated with traditional systems could offer real-time sentiment tracking, faster than polls, and insulated from bias. Polymarket plans to go further, develop Developing DAOs for community governance, adding chargeable features, and expanding to global markets. But this raises big dilemmas. Should users be allowed to bet on tragedies or geopolitical events? How do we prevent manipulation or abuse? Despite regulatory pressure, the platform's technology continues drawing tens of millions in daily volume, suggesting strong demand. Innovators hope ethical frameworks and careful oversight can preserve both accuracy and accountability. Accountability. As prediction markets blend into mainstream financial and media landscapes, the question becomes emotional and urgent. Are we ready for a world where anyone can trade tomorrow's news today? If polymarket survives and transforms under guard, it could mark the start of a new era, the democratization of truth powered by collective intelligence in crypto, but constrained by law a more idea to a billion dollar battleground, polymarket has pushed one radical idea into the global spotlight, that markets, powered by real people, can predict the future more accurately than polls, pundits, or even governments. It's a story of code, controversy, and courage, and it's far from over. In just a few years, this platform has grown from a crypto experiment into a political lightning rod, capable of shaking confidence in legacy institutions. With every trade placed on a presidential race or a geopolitical event, it forces a question. Who controls the truth, authority, or the crowd? But innovation comes at a cost. Raids, bans, and global regulation have cast a long shadow over its future. Yet, despite the crackdowns, Polymarket still operates, still thrives, and still asks, what happens when everyone can bet on everything? The truth is, Polymarket isn't just changing how we gamble, it's changing how we believe. Will it survive? Will it evolve into a regulated tool of modern forecasting? Or will it be silenced by the very systems it threatens to disrupt? Only time will tell. But the bets are already in. If this story got you thinking, inspired, or even unsettled, drop a comment below. We want to hear what you think. Should we embrace prediction markets as the future of truth, or treat them as a dangerous game we can't control? Your voice matters. The future is unwritten, and someone, somewhere, is already betting on it.